Hello YouTube and welcome to the Premiere tutorial series. So today we are going to uh, look at the timeline tools right over here on the left. So before I do that, let me save a version of my project right, right here from lesson 2 to 3. So let me save it as lesson 3 right here. And as I edit along, what I want to usually do is save it as versions just like this. Uh, same goes for After Effects so that I do, uh, have a different version of my project file like this. So let me save that out and last uh, last time what, where, where we left off was we uh, brought in uh, some of the clips right here at the bottom and then uh, made a basic edit to it. So let's look at the timeline. Uh, let's look at some of these tools right here and let's see what they actually do. So I'm going to delete the audio layer right now because I'm going to focus on the video. So as you know by now, you, I can actually uh, re, uh, uh, replace the video clips as I want. So now over here, so this is the track select forward tool. So let's say for example, what this tool does is now whenever I select something just like this by my selection tool, uh, what happens is that I can simply uh, select each clips and move them by. And sometimes what I want to do is I want to move this whole clips uh, just by that. But usually when I have uh, more than a hundred clips, it is not possible to drag and select them all. So what I want to do is track select forward to the shortcut key is A. It actually appears over there as you can see. So I can go to track select forward to and select it. And you can see that all of the tracks uh, followed uh, on the right side is selected once you do that. So let me just copy and paste this. Let's uh, press Control C and Control V just to show you how it works. And sometimes we might even have dual layers of video editing. We'll come into dual layer video editing in further lessons again. So your video files and audio files are usually arranged like this when you start editing. So now when I go for track select forward tool, I can actually select a whole bunch of clips just like that and go back to selection tool and then move them forward or backward and all my clips that are at the end are selected. For example, if I'm really zoomed in just like here, so I can go and select my track forward tool, drag it to the right and all of the clips which even I do not see uh, are moved along to the right because they are selected. And similarly, there's a track select backward tool. Uh, you press shift A for uh, accessing it for the quick access and this actually does the opposite. It selects uh, from the point to the left side of the um, editing plane. Now this one is ripple edit tool. So what ripple edit does is if I have two clips together right here. So let me just zoom this in right here. What I really want to do is uh, sometimes I want to cut off some portion of the video and then uh, increase the other one. Sometimes what happens is that I have my videos uh, well together and I do not want to change the length of the clip. For example, let's say exactly 14 seconds of clip, I uh, cannot change the length of the uh, clip at all. So what I do is I use ripple edit tool. If I actually uh, increase, what happens is that uh, I can actually snap it just like this. Uh, I can just snap it. What it actually does is that, uh, let me put it aside. If I were to increase this in size, uh, if I were to increase this in size, I cannot uh, increase this beyond this point right here. So if I uh, use the ripple edit tool, what it does is that I can pull off uh, more of the clips from right here and then the rest of the clips get uh, pushed forward on Right. So this actually maintains the uh, uh, maintains the length of the clips. And, and sometimes when I have a gap in between, when I resize the videos, I can actually right click and click on ripple delete so that it snaps back onto places like that. And if I use the ripple edit uh, tool, what it does is that it actually does the ripple edit for me without me having to do a second step. So the other tool right here is rolling edit tool and rolling edit is much more like ripple edit tool. But what it does is it actually cuts off the portion of the uh, other video just like this. So what it does is what I so it's simply like 
dragging, uh, cutting off the portion of one video and bringing the video portion of the other video at the same time, and that is Ripple. Uh, that is rolling edit tool. So this is very useful in order to maintain the same time format just like that. And the other one here is the rate stretch tool. What it actually does is it makes a slow motion version of the video. So let's go to the pan video right here uh, around at, okay, so let me just select the pan in video. Let's just double click this and increase the size of it. What I can actually also do is I can select uh, just like uh, drag the portion right here from the beginning and change the in and out point for this clip as well right from here. So I simply double click and the in and out points for those uh, video clips are actually shown. So when I play this, you can actually see that this is at normal speed. And if I use the rate stretch tool and increase it, what happens is that it actually slows down the video. So now you can see the video is much more slower. So if you want to create slow motions, this is the tool for you. And this is something that we are going to dig in deeper in later lessons as well. And this is the razor tool. Razor tool is used to cut portions of the video into different chunks. So if I want different, uh, if I want to cut the videos in half or I want to inter insert some other footages, then this is a really useful tool. So I can simply cut it and insert other footages right here in between. So then this is the slip tool. What it actually does is that uh, when I select a clip, uh, you saw that I can actually move the in and out points from here. What the slip tool actually does is if I move, then it lets me uh, select the in and out points from uh, dragging it on right onto the tip. If I were to drag it to the right, you see that the end out point really moves here. So if you don't want to access the player right here and directly, then uh, this to slip tool is very useful. So it does a quick change of the in and out points in your video. And then finally, the slide tool over here, what it actually does is it lets you slide the video, uh, video clip any video clip in between. So what it actually is doing is that, so when I slide the video, the uh, this clip is actually getting cut off while this video portion is getting um, recovered. So if I were to slide it to the right, um, op the opposite happens. So it's similar to a rolling edit tool right here. When I slide off, uh, this one is cut off and this is seen, but then I uh, go forward to this uh, to the slide tool what it does is that it keeps the sensor intact and only changes the previous uh, part clip right there so then I have my hand tool right here which is simply used to drag around the uh, work area so this is similar to I can simply use my scroll wheel mouse uh, um, so I don't really need this tool and I can also use the zoom tool. And if I were to press the zoom, then what it happens is it increases, which I can actually do it from here itself. So the other interesting thing is that sometimes what you have is you have multiple layers uh, of videos. And then sometimes you just want to select a row of the video and not just one. So what you can do is if you hold shift on your keyboard, you can see that the icon actually changes from two pointers to only one. So this is true for almost uh, all of the tools. So if I were to press step, it actually changes into one arrow and this enables me to select a particular row. Same goes for here. I can select uh, a particular row over here. Uh, ripple edit, not really much of a change over here. Uh, also the razor tool. So it only cuts one of the video right now. And if I were to uh, hold step, then it actually turns into two razors. So it uh, cuts the entire row just like this. So that is how uh, the basic tools are used. We are going to dig in deeper onto the pen tool and the rate stretch tool in future lessons. So hope you guys uh, learn something as always and hope you guys get used to the tools right here. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.